Good morning, good morning, good morning, baby. We out here in Atlanta, Georgia, fully loaded. Fit to hook up to the silo, blow this down, and get across the scale house before them people come to work, before them folks get there. Before folks get to work, baby, we gotta get on up out of here. Anyways, on this beautiful Monday, you still in the bed sleep, ain't you? Truck driver. <laughs> Killing me. Wake up, get to money, baby. Get to the money. I said, Andrew, when do you sleep? There you go with that weird shit right there. When do I sleep? Sleeping on the money. Mr. Charlie over here paying a thousand dollars a load. You talking about Andrew? When do you sleep? Go have plenty of time to sleep when Mr. Charlie ain't got no more loads for you, okay? Mr. Charlie going down for maintenance for a whole week, so this place is going to be shut down, so here in a couple of days, so back to the house I go. And when Mr. Charlie open back up, baby, whoo, whoo, I may just be able to have all the trucks here. Not all the trucks, because I ain't going to go out and rent a truck, I mean rent trailers and hire a driver for about a week or two of work or something like that. That ain't going to happen, but you know, but if they give us something permanent, baby, yeah, we're going look at all that. Anyways, moving on into the trucking news. Trucking news that you can use. Got a phone call yesterday. Whoo! Got a phone call yesterday. I'm out here getting to it. Getting to the money. I'm over here calculating. Thinking, you know, got a phone call. Pick it up. What's up? What's up? It's Lottie and Dottie, Lottie and Dottie in the building. What's up, Lottie and Dottie? What's going on out there in this trucking world? I told y'all Lottie and Dottie at the house now. What's going on? Tell me something good, Lottie and Dottie. He said, yep, I passed my exam. Past what is there? He said, yeah, man, I told you, man. I told you I was going to go out there and pay for it, go to class, enroll. And uh, I'm gonna go for it. You gonna go for what? What you talking about, Lottie? He said, "Yeah, man, I got my insurance license." Come on, Lottie, Dottie, you didn't, you didn't go do that. Why are you put? Come on, Lottie, Dottie, you, you ain't come on now. Who, who told you? Who put you up to it? Who told you to call my phone on this beautiful? Sunday with this nonsense. Lottie Dottie, come on, quit playing. Quit playing, Dottie. You ain't told me nothing about you was enrolled in nothing with insurance, nothing. Last time we had an insurance conversation, that was goddamn a couple of months back. Now, now, come on, Lottie Dottie, now, 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 come on now. Now he said, nah, man, I, I, I passed, Andrew. I, I'm telling you, man, I, I, I took the class, passed his hand, man. Uh, yeah, man, I got, I, I, I'm an insurance agent now, independent. All right, dear. Tell me something about the home owners, home owners policy. Go, go and start talking. Yeah, go tell me something I don't know nothing about. Yeah, so a lot, lot of that proceeds for an hour straight to school Andrew on some insurance. I said, well, I'd be damned. He actually knows what he's talking about. That goddamn Lottie Dottie then finally listened to Andrew for the second time this year. Only two times. Now, I gave him a lot of advice, but he's decided to take Andrew's advice for the second out of I don't know how many times this year. I said, well, what's the next step then since you uh, passed his L? Yeah, you see, you got to keep asking questions. He said, yeah, man, I got to go get my fingerprints. And uh, go and uh, submit my application to the state. Okay, okay, same thing I had to do. Yeah, I remember I had to go and do my fingerprints also. That was like $50. So I said, okay, okay, well, when you get your insurance license, license go ahead and, uh, you know, send that over so we can update the people on YouTube. Let them know what, let them know you actually insurance agent. In the, okay, okay. God damn it, Lottie Dottie. Oh, finally listen to Andrew. If only he had done it, 
like I told him to when he was up there in the oil field in Pennsylvania. I told him, yeah, man, no, you know that's going to come to the end. But before it comes to the end, go ahead and start studying for insurance so you can get the license so that when they drop you, you can run the insurance with la di da They didn't think they were going to drop them. But Andrew been out here so long. <laughs> like clockwork, I know the oil field inside and out. Of course they're going to drop you, baby. It's the oil field. And like clockwork, like I told them, they dropped them. And that's why a lot of that need people like Andrew in this quarter. Because see, Andrew, he not going to be over here co-signing the nonsense, telling you what you want to hear. Hey, Andrew, man, uh, man, I think I should go lease a truck up here in Chicago with the Russians. No, I think you should block anybody and everybody that's telling you to go lease anything up in Chicago. Yeah, go and put them on the block list. Don't ever talk to them ever again in your life. Yeah, do that right there. See, I'm not gonna be co-signed. I'm not gonna be co-signed. But Andrew, that's harsh. That's all. So, do you wanna go out here and spin your wheels and just be just circling the globe and no check whatsoever? Go go listen to the other people here. Go ahead. Go see how that works. Line, go up the go on, not go on up there. You gotta learn the hard way, so like like that he went on up there. <laughs> he went on up there. He had to go and find out for the nineteen thousand time and truck it. What's that line about it? You, you no longer up there? Where you at? At the house? Oh, oh, I wonder why. <laughs> Nine out of boo boo, baby. Hey, Andrew gonna be co-signing the bullshit. I, I don't just be agreeing with people, you know. None of that, man. It's no matter who y'all. Everybody know to come around me. Hey, they, they tell you, man. Hey, man, I tried to get Andrew to agree with me on some bullshit. That motherfucker wouldn't buzz, man. He wouldn't. Nope. Nope. I told him, yep. He would not buzz. It don't matter if you male or female. Uh, you come with me with the bullshit, I will not be co-signing. But, Andrew, the other 1,000 truck drivers told me to do this. Okay. Well, I told you to do this. So go ahead and follow the other 1,000 truck drivers. And when you get done with the fuckery, go and give me a phone call so I can tell you what I just told you uh, today. Except it's going to be a whole year from now. Ring! The other, what, what's going on now? The other 1,000 truck drivers, it didn't work out, did it? You, you didn't want to listen to the person that already got the experience. Uh, told you exactly what was gonna happen. You you didn't you didn't want to take my you, you took you wanted to listen to the other truck drivers that ain't even doing what it is they told you to do. <laughs> they told you to go to the Russians. Them motherfucking mother thousand truck drivers they ain't up there with the Russians. Nah, they, nah, they ain't up there with the Russians with you. You went up there by yourself. They ain't over there with them fucking Russians. He can't be so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really, talking about all the co sign nonsense. But Andrew, if you don't co sign this, they gonna motherfucking jump your ass at the truck stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's gonna be a cold day in hell. Time for me to unload. Some of y'all like Andrew. Did you see all the black smoke coming out your exhaust? Is that your turbo going out? Nah, not a boo, baby. <laughs> it's a 1997, baby. A 1997. I don't have EGR. I don't have exhaust gas recirculation. I don't got none of that bullshit on the truck, baby. All old school engines blow out black smoke. It's called breathing, baby. The engine is breathing. Mine blow a little bit more black smoke because mine is modified to dump more fuel from the injectors, baby, to increase more power, okay? So, yes, when I hit the gas on mine, you will not be catching up to Andrew. Some of y'all had to learn that the hard way. Some of y'all had to bring your truck side by side with me at the light, blow your horn. Yup, this is me, Andrew. When the light turned green, baby, you didn't see me no more, okay? You had to learn the hard way. And there's nothing wrong in this trucking world with learning the hard way, okay? I'm finna go and get to the money. Now, you still sleep. Yeah, you still sleep. Four in the morning, you still sleep. You ain't woke. See, Andrew, when do you sleep? Stop it. Stop it. There you go with that nonsense. When do I sleep? 
Mr. Charlie paying a thousand dollars a load. You talking about where do I sleep? You got plenty of time to sleep, but there ain't no motherfucking loans coming through. Wake your ass up and get to it, driver.